At the start of October, I travelled to Melbourne for a convention called PAX. You may have heard of this in America, but there is one in Australia as well, and it is the biggest convention in Australia. I found a shop called Cherry Collectibles, a local store in Melbourne, and they had some fantastic Pokemon products, such as the Cherry Pie, which is one encased or graded card per box. So I got two. We also got a Pokemon box from them. Got two of them as well, two of each. Uh, this, I believe, has three booster packs in it, a sleeved card, top loader card, you know, prote protected valuable card. I believe there is also the chance to get a graded slab if there's like a ticket in there that says, you win. Mo wants to have a go, as he always seems to want to, but that's okay. Um, and we also, they also had a tower of 151 ETBs and isn't an opening in October without 151. So we're going to crack into this bad boy first. We'll get the packs out of here. We'll do these loot boxes and then we're going to see what is in our grated or encased cherry pies. Mmm, we do love a yummy cherry pie. Let's see if this new batch of ETBs, for me anyway, all my other ones are from the same case. This new batch of ETBs is going to yield some good pulls because we got some good stuff in the last one, but we still are chasing more. Ooh, our first pull. Nothing fancy. Let's just tuck that over here. Please don't bowl it over, Mo. You're being very good for once. Normally, he's like getting up here and he's trying to get behind my desk and then he presses all the buttons and here we get... No, the fluffy handsome boy had to be relocated because he was... uh. He was looking towards the back of that desk where all the, uh, the buttons are on the audio panels and all the electric spaghetti, which he's a big fan of, which I will not allow him to have because it's bad for his health. <laughs> okay, we've got two for nothing. Uh, I mean, we've got a metal energy, but you know, we when you're 200 and something packs into 151, you don't really care too much about the holographic energies anymore. They're still nice. I like them. But we're not looking for them anymore. We are looking for so many other cards. Kingla. Oh, no. You Why does this always happen? This is a gorgeous card, but I, I, I got this in the last opening. But I can't complain because this now is for the master set. So... Yeah. <laughs> what are the odds of that? How does this keep happening? Now, I... <laughs> Watch me now get a second... SIR Alakazam rather than the Charizard or the um, Zapdos. The Zapdos that I really, really want. I want it so bad. I really, really want one. A Ponyta. A Kadabra. Oh, an Alakazam full art. That's a beautiful card. I don't think I've pulled this one. It's not the SIR like I was just saying. That's a lovely card, and I believe I did not have this one. Oh, look at that. You get the right angle on that. Look at the texturing. The winner of the ETB giveaway has been drawn. Please check the uh, description there to see the lucky winner. All right, let's keep this luck going. This is going pretty good so far. We've gotten some good ones. We've gotten quite a few good ones. Can we keep it going? A Tangler and a Dragonite, regular hollow. All right, four more packs, and then we crack on into the goodies from Cherry Collectibles. I believe, so I believe they set these mystery packs up specifically for packs. They don't, I think, I don't know whether they normally offer much in the range of mystery products. Uh, I feel like most places, ooh, here we go, another pull, an Arbok EX, and a Fire Energy, fancy. Nice, nice. I feel like a lot of places these days sort of offer some sort of mystery pack to a degree. Yeah, I know they set these ones up just for this event. And let me tell you, end of the weekend, they were all gone. All of them. Everything they had. All the Pokemon boxes and all of those cherry pies. Those cherry pies were gone day one. Day one of three. None left. They did not make it through the day. So I'm really glad I swung by there on the first day. <laughs> and picked some stuff up. Oh, is that? Nah, it's, I can't, you can't tell. You really can't tell. N What's the matter? Okay. There's no point peeking in these packs. Unless you catch the glimpse of the gold, which I haven't. I want the Omanyte. I need the Omanyte. That's not an Omanyte. That's an Omastar. That's... 
All right, you, you got me. It's <laughs> fair enough. Okay, look, we got three pulls in seven packs so far. We're doing good. If we get one more, I'll be I'll be very happy with this ETB, especially given that we've got a full art and a gallery, as well as a regular EX. Let's keep the luck going. An Electabuzz Reverse, a Radita Reverse, and a Dodrio Regular Hollow. Okay. Last pack of 151, and then we crack into these cherry boxes. I don't even know what packs are in them. I assume it's just uh, an assorted collection of modern packs, given the price point on them, which was at $25 each with three packs in them, plus a card. I don't know what kind of, what level of card it is. Um, plus the opportunity or the chance to get a, like a, a slabbed card. Ooh, Psyduck. Ugh, taunting me. I want the Psyduck gallery as well. What? No way! A second Alakazam EX? Whoa, with a big couple print lines through his forehead. Look at that. That's not ideal. I can't believe we just doubled up on the Alakazam full art. Let's get into some of the goodies here. So, like I said, th there should be three booster packs in here. And there will be a, a chance to win like a slabbed, a proper slabbed card as well. So, I don't think we got a free booster, a, a graded card or anything, but that's all right. So, what do we got? We've got Obsidian Flames, Paldia Evolved, and Chilling Pain. We've got two of these boxes, so let's have a, let's, I want to see this. I really want to see what this is first. Because I've got two of these, I want to have a look at this. I want to crack, I want to see what this is first. I want to see what sort of level of card we're kind of looking at. Remember, these were $25 each, Australian. So, three booster packs at what, you know, your $7 recommended retail Australian or whatever. It's not bad. So this should, we should be seeing about a $5 card here, maybe. Maybe a $10. Ooh, yeah, okay, okay. A Hisuian Typhlosion V-Star. I think that's around a, somewhere around a 3 to $5 Australian card. Okay, okay, that's not bad. We'll take that. Let's see if we can turn it into some real magic and get some bangers from these packs. I still haven't seen the secret illustration rare Charizard from this set. Oh, is that a fancy edge? No, that's probably just the edge of the code card. The, <laughs> the code card edge has caught me off a few times. Crab Roller, the Fairy, Capsa Kid, Flamigo. It feels strange seeing Pokemon that aren't just Gen 1 at the moment with how many we've been opening of 151. Altaria Reverse. Oh, a Varum Gallery. Okay, we've got a hit. We've got a hit. I think I don't have this one. This may be a fresh dex entry. Maybe. We're off to a good start with this box. We're one for one. Power to your evolve. What do I reckon? A full art Iono? Secret rare? Iono? Maybe? Wait, was that Iono or is it... Yeah, I... Was it... Wait. Yeah, Iono is this one. Miriam's base. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Combi. Glimit. Frigibax. Grusha. Miss Magius, Bramblegast, Wattrell Reverse, Fuacoco Reverse, oh, and a Full Art Clavel. Whoop. Mo has interrupted me once again, but we have a Full Art uh, Professor Clavel, or a Headmaster. He's the Headmaster, isn't he? We are two for two on the pools right now. Let's see if we can make it three for three out of this first box. That would be pretty swell. However, we now have to go back to... Ah, the code card's the wrong way. Well, that means we're no, it's chilling rain. There's no hit. Let's just have a quick sniff through. Special energy reverse and a Walrein regular rare. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Let's have a look at the next one. Ah, oh, man. I had to swan dive at Mo then uh, because he decided that he really wanted to go behind my desk, which he knows he's not allowed to do. All right, let's see. What do we have? Do we have the same lineup? We've got Obsidian Flames, Powder Evolved, and Pokemon Go. We'll look at this card after this time. Okay, Obsidian Flames, what do you have for me this time? Both the Powder, uh, both the Scarlet and Violet sets did us well. They did us very nicely. Let's see if we can keep that. Ooh. No, no, I can't tell. I can't tell. Zigzagoon, Scyther, Meltan, Charcadet, Crabominable, Wolfolant, Moile, Nosepass Reverse, 
a Fruki reverse. Ah, and a Toga Kiss regular hollow. And there is no fancy energies to be seen in this set. So after the hollow, it's it's all over. There is nothing else in there. <laughs> However, let's see what we've got in Pally Revolved once more. So Total, Nackley, Fuacoco, Vigoroth, a Pinsir Chin, Crocolore, Reverse Pally and Wooper. Ah, uh, that spoils that. <laughs> Pokemon Go. Pretty good hit rates on this set. The holiday sets usually are, except 151. Although we did pretty good on our ETV there with four hits in nine packs. That's pretty good, but let's see. Let's see what we pack trick as well. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I remember. I know how this works. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. Pokemon Go. Save this box with something. Give us, give us something. I think I might see an edge. No, that's just unevenly cut cards. Pit of a Magikarp, a Meltan, an Eevee, a Reverse Unpheasant, and it's nothing. It's a Moltres regular holo. Okay. Well, this still could be something good. It does look like it's still another dusty cardboard fluff. Ooh, maybe ooh, that's actually a little rough on the corners. That's a little rough on the corners, but I don't know whether that means... Does that mean it's an older card that's a bit rarer? Or is this just a really poor, a really rough factory fresh card? Let's have a look. What do we got from our second Pokemon box from Cherry Collectibles? Ooh, a Blastoise V promo. Okay. Sword and Shield promo. What's this one even from? It's a, a Battle Deck Black Star promo, and it seems to be going for somewhere around 50, 10 to 20 Australian. That's a pretty good card. That's pretty good. I mean, the condition's a little... Uh, it's seen better days, but I can't... I really can't tell if that's just how it came from the out of the box, or if it's um, just, you know, a little bit rougher. But... A cool card nonetheless. That's a pretty cool one to get from there. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Surely it's going to be... Okay. Okay, this is not a graded. What do we reckon? Are we going to see value? Nah. Ooh, oh, that's beautiful. I love this card. I love this card. And seeing it in Japanese. Oh, yeah, they uh, they have not skimped on the quality here. I need to look this up. I need to look this up and see how much we've got. Well, that's a little underwhelming. I, I did think it may have been worth a little more, but it looks to be going for around sort of 25 Australian, roughly. Uh, in a PSA 10, it's worth about 75, you know, which would have, would have been nice, but oh well. Okay, that's our first card, our first encased card. Hopefully we can get something real nice from this second one here. Let's see what we've got from this one, from our number two cherry pie, one encased or graded card per box. Let's get something, let's get a doozy of a card. Let's get, oh, I want to see... I want to see something worth about a hundred bucks from this one because that one was not. Okay, we've got another encased card, not a graded one. So based on how this is panning out, you really could get a bit of anything from these. These look like they could be somewhere between, well, $25 for the Raikou up to, I can only assume, a couple hundred if you are, if you hit the good ones which I don't know whether you're going to see that from these ones. This, once again, looks pretty minty. I'm hoping we see something of high value, though, because these were $75 Australian. It's not graded, but that doesn't mean much. This could be fantastic. All right, three, two, one. Ooh, Electro GX Full Art Shiny from Hidden Face. I can tell you right now that this is definitely not $75. That is a really nice card. I like this. I've never seen this in person before. Let now that now's the real fun part. Let's let's see what it's worth. All right, so I've looked up the electrode and it also looks to be about a 20 to $25 card. So we 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 kind of lucked out 
on the uh, on the pulls from these uh, the cherry pies here. I've de I've seen the pictures on their Instagram um, when they when the people were opening these up at the con, and there were some banger cards in these. So we definitely just got unlucky. We did well from our 151 ETB. We got an Ivysaur, two full art Alakazams, and an Arbok. Then from the uh, the uh, the smaller Pokemon boxes with the three boosters, we got a Clavel and a Varum. We got a Human Typhlosion as one of the sleeved cards, and we got this Blastoise V. Fresh with cat hair. That was from my cat, not from the box. And we got these beautiful cards. Very nice cards. Just not at the value of the packs. But hey, that's the gamble with mystery packs. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like the video. Leave a comment below telling me your favorite part. Thanks for watching. See you next time, guys. Bye.